Hey everyone, it's Caitlin. Welcome back to my channel and today we are getting cozy. So grab your comfy sweater slash fuzzy blanket because we are going to be making some yummy, hearty vegan soups. It is soup season here. I live in the Pacific Northwest. It's pretty much dark and rainy all the time. And when the weather's like that, all I really want is like cozy, nourishing, wholesome recipes. So today we're doing just that with three different soup recipes that are going to impress anyone, vegan or not. So let's get into them. First up, we're going to be making a coconut curry lentil soup with kale. I love this recipe. It's really cozy and nourishing and it's a mix of all of my favorite ingredients. So we're going to start by sauteing a yellow onion in some olive oil or vegetable broth until it's nice and golden. Then we'll add in some shiitake mushrooms and cook those down a little bit until they start to wilt and cook them along with a pinch of salt as well. This just helps the mushrooms to shrink a little bit more and give off some of their flavor. Then we'll add in some ginger, garlic, and a salt-free curry powder blend. And optionally, you can also add a cinnamon stick for a little bit of extra flavor. So I'll take this for about a minute until the garlic is fragrant and the spices are toasted. Then we're going to add in some diced sweet potatoes as well as some dry brown lentils, and then a can of full fat coconut milk, and last but not least, some vegetable broth. So mix everything together until it's evenly incorporated. And then we're going to bring this mixture to a boil over high heat, reduce the heat to medium or medium low. And then you're going to simmer for about 20 to 25 minutes until the lentils are fully cooked. So this is what the soup should look like at this point. And then you're going to turn the heat off and we'll add in some kale as well as a touch of lemon juice. And you're just going to stir until the kale is nice and wilted. It shouldn't take more than a minute or so. The residual heat from the soup will cool it down and uh, you can also remove the cinnamon stick here and then we're just going to mix in the lemon juice last but not least uh, you just want to add that at the last possible moment so the flavor doesn't sort of deteriorate with the heat then all that's left to do is put it in a bowl serve and enjoy I love the soup because it's full of hearty ingredients the lentils adds a nice plant-based protein and the broth is rich in filling and satisfying as well Next up, we're going to be making some vegan chicken noodle soup. I have a recipe on my blog that I made a long time ago and I sort of upgraded it with this recipe. So to start, we're going to add some oil to our large pot and again, saute our onion for three to five minutes until it's nice and translucent. Then at this point, we're going to add in some celery, some carrots, and a pinch of salt to make our mirepoix. And we're going to saute this for a few more minutes just to add some flavor to those other veggies. And this is going to contribute to the flavor of our broth as well. Next up, we'll add some minced garlic, some black pepper, some smoked paprika, and some thyme. I like to add smoked paprika to my uh, soup recipes most commonly because it adds like a nice smoky depth of flavor that you would normally get with traditional non-vegan ingredients. But anyways, moving on, next we're going to add some diced gold potatoes, some dry pasta, you can use gluten-free or regular, and then we're going to add in some soy curls. This is what soy curls look like. It's dehydrated soy in these sort of strips. I can get them at my grocery store. You can also purchase them on Amazon or online. I'll have the links listed below, but they're going to cook in our soup broth. So we don't need to rehydrate them first. We'll just add some vegan imitation flavored chicken broth to the pot, along with a little bit of water just to make the broth a little bit more low sodium. Then we're going to mix everything together and bring it to a boil. So I decided to make this recipe a one pot recipe. So both the soy curls and the pasta will cook in the broth. The soy curls will rehydrate as you can start to see here. They're a little bit thicker in texture and the pasta will cook, which will also make our broth a little bit more creamy as it adds some starchiness to it. Uh, but I also love this because the flavors from the soup broth will infuse into both the soy curl strips and the pasta. And the soy curl strips in particular don't have a ton of flavor. So this way they get more of that chickeny flavor in them. So you're just going to keep simmering your broth until the pasta is fully cooked. And then you can turn the heat off and remove the thyme if you didn't chop it up. And then last but not least, we'll stir in some parsley for a little bit of extra color and flavor. So that's it for the soup. I feel like the soup tastes just like the classic chicken noodle soup you might have eaten growing up. And I love how the potatoes add a little bit of an extra hearty kick to it. And I just like to top mine with some parsley and black pepper, but you can serve it however you'd like. Highly recommend serving it alongside a toast of bread, with vegan butter. It's a classic combination that can't be beat.
Last but not least, we're going to be making some vegan potato soup. So we're taking a traditionally very dairy heavy soup and turning it into a plant-based recipe. It's very cozy and hearty and you only need a few simple ingredients to make it. So we're going full storm ahead with this imitation chicken noodle soup. So we're going to start by melting two tablespoons of vegan butter in a pot. If you'd like to, you can also use extra virgin olive oil or I have an oil-free option listed in the recipe notes, which are linked in the video description. To that, we're going to add our diced yellow onion and again, saute it until it's starting to become golden and translucent. As you can see, that's a common theme for most soup recipes. Then we'll add in some garlic and saute this for about a minute or so until it starts to become fragrant. And then we're going to add in some chickpea flour, nutritional yeast, smoked paprika and black pepper so the chickpea flour is going to help thicken our soup broth later on so right now we're just sort of toasting it and cooking it a little bit and then once we add our liquid it will help to thicken our broth so you're going to toast that for a few minutes and it'll look a little bit something like this then we'll go ahead and add in our potatoes and some vegetable broth along with some plant-based milk i'm using oat milk here uh, you can also use coconut milk but it'll have a little bit more of a coconut milk flavor so then you're going to stir everything together, bring it to a boil. You can cover it to help speed that process along. And then we'll simmer it until the potatoes become fork tender. So I just want to talk a little bit about potatoes here. I'm using Yukon Gold potatoes for this recipe. That is a potato that I would recommend using because it's the perfect balance between starchy and creamy. So with something like a baker's potato or russet potato, your soup would be way too starchy. But these potatoes have a little bit less starch in them. So they make our broth a lot more rich and creamy and it doesn't almost like taste dehydrating when you bite into it. So this is what our potatoes should look like once they're done. Also, you can and peel your potatoes if you want to, but I decided not to. Then at this point, we're going to add in some vegan coconut yogurt. Um, I recommend using a very thick and creamy coconut yogurt. Uh, you can also use vegan sour cream or I have more substitutions listed in the blog post. And then also you can add in some shredded vegan cheddar cheese if you would like to make the soup a little bit more cheesy. That step is optional though. So then we're just going to stir everything. Uh, you can turn the heat off at this point, but we're just going to keep stirring until the cheddar cheese becomes fully melted into the soup and the thick coconut yogurt has dissolved. Then at this point, you can season with additional salt to pepper to taste if necessary. And as you can see here, our broth is still a little bit thin. So what I like to do is to take an immersion blender and blend about a fourth to a third of the soup. So this way we're blending up the potatoes a bit and that's going to help to thicken our broth and make it a little bit more creamy. If you don't have an immersion blender, you can also just do this in a regular blender, just transfer some of the soup. I would just make sure your lid has a vent in it because the soup will be very hot and you just wanna be careful with that. But once the soup has thickened to your liking, know that it will also thicken a little bit more as it cools. This is what my final product look like. So you still have those large chunks of potato, but a rich and creamy broth. And the soup looks absolutely delicious. And I can't wait to dig in. So for this soup, it really is very rich and creamy. If you wanted to, you could serve it with like a side salad or maybe top it with some tempeh bacon. I think that would be really good. Um, here, I just kept things relatively simple and I topped it with a little bit of extra fresh shredded vegan cheddar cheese, along with some black pepper and some chopped chives but you could also use green onion as well all right there you have it so leave a comment down below tell me which one of these recipes was your favorite as always all of the full recipes will be linked in the description below if you need more details and also there will be a link to my cookbook down below look at me on that cover but if you want more cozy and hearty soup recipes i have a ton on my blog but if you want to support my work further i have a whole chapter dedicated to cozy vegan soups so you guys should check my cookbook simply delicious vegan out if you want Please do, I put a lot of work into it. <laughs> but yeah, if you're new to my channel, feel free to hit that like button on this video. Let me know you want more content like this and also hit that subscribe button so you can see all of my new yummy vegan recipes that come out and all of my lifestyle content too. So I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and I look forward to seeing you virtually in the next video. Bye.